Hey, this is Satya from the EMF Center. For years, I've been wanting to show you how powerful um, wireless earbuds really are. And recently, I was taking a bunch of wireless measurements to update the chart on our website where we show you uh, roughly how far away you need to get from a wireless source to get down to 100 microwatts per square meter, which is what the Council of Europe has recommended as a safety level. And I was actually really surprised to find uh, what the earbuds did. I borrowed a, a pair from a friend and I found that in order to get down to that level, I had to be about um, 28 feet or eight and a half meters away. So I shot a quick little video um, handheld just to show you uh, what happens when you get right on top of them and you'll see for yourself. But first, here are some safety levels to consider. The Bioinitiative Report is an international review of EMF research by independent scientists. It's widely cited and recommends a safety level of just three microwatts per square meter. In 2011, the Council of Europe, representing 46 countries, urged governments to cut down EMF exposure, especially for children and other vulnerable groups. They recommended keeping levels under 100 as a precaution. It wasn't a binding safety limit, but it shows how seriously they took the risks. Based on the studies I've seen, the lowest level that's been linked to cancer is 2000. And then there's the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, or ICNRP which is a group that sets exposure guidelines. Their safety limits are based on research that's over 70 years old, and they still allow levels up to 10 million. And that's the standard that most countries follow today. And now, here's the demo. Using a meter called the Safe and Sound Pro 2, which measures the levels of microwave radiation in a unit of measure called microwatts per meter squared, we're going to look at this middle line, which shows us the highest number that the meter has found since it was turned on or reset. And you can see that the general level in this area so far has got up to 18.6. Now you can hear a cell tower in the background. And I'm going to unleash the earbud that I have bundled up in this wire and this um, metalized fabric and take a look at what happens to the levels of radiation as I bring it closer to the meter. So you can see with the earbud touching it at that point on the meter, it got up to 2,830,000. To recap some of the safety levels, we got three from the International Review of the Studies, 100 from the Council of Europe, 2,000 from the lowest level linked to cancer, and our wireless earbud got 2,830,000. So now you can see what you're dealing with. These wireless earbuds produce a significant amount of microwave radiation and you're placing them directly in your head right next to your brain. The good news? You do have alternatives. Wired headphones are not perfect, but they're far better and speakerphone is a great choice if it works for you. And in general, distance is your best friend when it comes to EMF protection. If you found this eye-opening, make sure to follow us for more practical EMF insights that can help you make informed choices about how you use your technology. Here's a question for you. What is the one wireless device that you use all the time and you're curious to see measured? Drop your answer in the comments below, as I might just test it in a future video. Till then, stay safe.